Hi guys, how are you doing? So just a quick video this week. Uh, so basically yeah, I've just recently done a wedding at Grantley Hall um, and I've been toying with my preset. So as you know with my preset, um, let's just dive in. So I'm just going to pick this shot here. Totally out of camera, needs straightening up. So let's do that first just so we've got what we want. Perfect. Okay, lovely shot straight out of camera so i have color before changes and color new so i'm going to give you a look at sort of how i was doing things before so if i put the color on and then as you've seen from all the editing videos i would then jump back into the library module i'd apply two to three temperatures using this make warmer button two tints and then a large tint and then back to develop and that would pretty much get me what i wanted so it's an extra five, six clicks. And then sometimes it's a bit like, mm, not quite. I'll pull the warmth back a little bit. Um, and then I might play with the tint. I've been trying to make the process even simpler to try and get everything to one click. Um, I've adjusted, on the new one, I've adjusted values such as my contrast, my saturation's a bit lower. I've added more color grading into the midtones and the highlights as well as the shadows. Uh, detail has changed as well, so it's a little bit sharper. Um, effects is the same, so I've still got the same amount of grain. And then a lot of work has been done in the calibration. Uh, so this was the calibration before, so those values are now different in the new one. So this is sort of what it was before. So uh, let's create a virtual copy. I'll reset that out. Lovely. I'm just going to take the crop from the last one just so we've got the exact same uh, viewpoint paste okay so that's the same as the last one but straight out camera so now if I put on my new preset so if I press color new and then that's pretty much done one click so I've baked in some of the magentas using the calibration tool uh, and I've added some magentas into the highlights through colour grading and then some more warmths into the mid-tones and the shadows. If I want to make it slightly warmer, all I need to do now is I can go back out to library model, module if I want. I mean, I'm quite happy with that as is. But the idea is the only thing I need to do now is apply the preset to everything and then press the temperature button once. So this, this button here, which is make warmer. So if I press that once, that image is now pretty much done and good to go. So we've gone from this image to that image. And it might be hard for you to tell the difference there <laughs> on YouTube, but you saw it was a lot less clicking about. Um, if I go to comparison mode, so these are the two photos. Um, if I pull it over. So it's a tiny bit more magenta still on this one. That's just because I pumped so much in through the library module. But it's still perfectly nice how it is there. Um, I mean, in terms of skin tones, what I'm looking for, they're both really good. I'm going to say, yeah, you could maybe get away with adding a tiny bit more magenta into this one. So if I go back out, go to grid mode, um, develop. And then, so it was out of camera, it's on plus 13. When we did it before the old way, it went all the way up to plus 44. So you can see it's a lot more clicks to get it up there. So if I just go back to the new version here and then just press tint once, that'll probably give us the same sort of amount of magenta that was in the previous. So it went from 13 to 17. And again, the both should look really nice straight out of camera. Uh, with the single with the preset just added straight on so I've made some slight changes making things a little bit easier um, so this is the new variant um, 
I just think the skin tones look a little bit nicer and yeah I don't know if this comes across very well on YouTube but that's my little preset update again my preset isn't for sale because it's taken me a long time to get to this point but I'm just trying to make my preset to the point where everything's just more simple and quick like a one click type of thing and it should work with anything so I'm just going to delete this virtual copy Oop, uh, grid. So, where am I at? What's going on? Right, remove that from Lightroom. So, if I try that on a different image, so if we go over to this portrait here and develop, and then I'll put on color new straight away, apart from fixing the crop to straighten it up, that is good to go straight out of camera and then preset done so before after and it's about learning your camera and how you shoot um i have my cameras set up so that my exposure is automatically set at negative 0.7 on my meter so i'm sort of retaining the highlights a bit more um because i know I was always coming in and pulling my exposure down on my images. So I've sort of baked that into how I shoot now is I shoot with minus 0 0.7 exposure. Um, and that gets me straight away to that. Just putting the preset on. No exposure changes, no temperature changes, no tint changes. The auto white balance out of the cameras is pretty good. If I need to, I can use my keyboard shortcuts to pump a bit of magenta in. Or a bit of warmth so just two fingers duh, 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 done but i am quite happy to leave that as it was shot and it looks really really nice um so i'll do one more image so again just fix the crop on this one so you can see it's a bit of a blue day really now this probably might need a little bit of exposure bump but let's just put the preset on color new lift the exposure up Again, I've got light hit me in the face, so hopefully that looks fine. Very, it was uh, threatening to rain, so it looks a bit cloudy up here. So what I tend to do when it's like that is just draw in some more exposure into the sky. And it just doesn't make it look as stormy. And then we'll just bring that back one. Again, that is pretty much out of camera, preset, slight change to the sky. But you saw the colour uh changes were totally fine just look at the colors beautiful skin tones beautiful contrast you know that the faces aren't grungy like this which i'm seeing a lot of people still applying presets where everything looks too contrasting too grungy so just really nice looking images so that's my little preset change um i'll do one more photo let's just have a look what have we got um little port right there again a little holding hands and going for a walk type of thing um let's try so i've already done these ones here so this shot for example so if i reset it reset Computer's a little bit slow because I'm running OBS and the, the SSD is plugged in, so it's uh, having a bit of a slow. Right, and then again, I'm just going to take this blue little thing out here, which was like a some sort of pool boy or whatever. Right, so I just put my preset on, colour new, done. Again, I just sort of fixed the sky on it before, so if I just pull down a gradient and then just lift that exposure up on the sky pull the saturation out because it was quite blue and it just helps fix that and i feel like it looks better so straight away making everything a lot easier and a lot simpler um but no i thought i'd do just a quick video today guys just to update you on my preset changes um again if i sort of just over put my other one over the top you can sort of see if I applied that now without any white balance changes, it goes a little bit more muted and more green, 
Whereas if I take that off, it's already got the warmth and the magentas baked in that I was having to add afterwards. So hopefully you can see that. I'll do it once more. So all I'm doing is I'm just rolling over my presets. So this is the preset before. So a lot more green, needs more work done to it. You can sort of see in the bush and on their skin tones. And then as soon as I roll off it, the new preset comes into effect. And bosh, you can sort of see the magentas come straight back in and the warmth comes back in. So a lot, lot less work to do. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to stop this recording and enjoy the rest of your week. Toodaloos.